Alrighty, howdy guys. Sorry about the lighting. Got the sun in the background, of course. But you can see my 2015 S40, LS650, Suzuki Savage, Boulevard, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do the front brakes. Uh, they're right down. So I thought we'll do a quick video. So, just a couple of tools. Got myself a quite a hefty toolbox uh, socket set. I've never done it before, so I'm guessing it's probably an 18 or 19 mils uh, bolt, but you probably want a socket set, uh, 3 8 drive bigger, and a metric set. I think we may need some Allen keys or what you guys, um, hex keys or whatever you guys want to call them. I call them Allen keys. Uh, we're probably going for the 5 mil one. This is a 3 8 drive one, and some uh, slip jaws so that we can push those uh, calipers back. So we'll just go and uh, get set up over there. Hopefully the lighting's a bit better because the sun will be behind us and um, we'll get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. All set up to do these. Now don't forget to mention, you need some new brake pads as well. Um, no point in replacing them if you don't have them. Like I said, I think it's about a 17. I haven't done this yet. mil is correct so like I said we want to be a 3 8 drive and up I just seem to think there's an allen key here I think that's a rod that goes through and holds the uh, brake shoes in not too sure we'll find out shortly <laughs> Calipers off. Yes, we will be undoing this Allen key here, which I believe is a five mil, five millimeter, and it's a three out drive. So Add it right out and uh, that's what's left of my brake pad I'll show you a new one this gap gets smaller you may get away with just pushing it slowly with your hand don't be too fast the only reason why I found out that my brakes were drew was actually I saw the the um, the brake reservoir at the handle was low, so I checked. Usually if you're low in brake fluid, it's a sign that your brake shoes are wearing down or brake pads. This is where these slip jaws will come in handy. We don't want to go fast. Because you are actually pushing back against the braking system. Pull the slider out if you want. Probably a good idea to make sure that it still slides. Let's see, we're just slowly squeezing it in. It takes an effort. That'll sit flush again. Take the other one out. Now I'm not sure 
we can put these in and then put the slider in. But we are about to find out. It sits in there like so. And that's what this head does. Is this here goes through those holes here like that. Keeps it located. I don't know if you can see, but in there there's some spring steel. You gotta push these up against it. There's those springs there. So they help push the shoe. I can do that, you're up now. We put this all back together and find out we can't put the slider in. We have to pull it all apart. Lift that up. Now, we just want to make sure that they're clean. They're clean, there's still lithium grease on them. I don't, I don't have any lithium grease here. But, uh, they're still sliding. I reckon. Yep, we can. Okay, so I just want to make sure that that's free to slide. Now, get these on. I have to try to get this brake pad to sit right back. See how it can move. You've got to try to squeeze the disc in there. Look at that. Too easy. So if you ever find the brake reservoir empty, don't pull it. Don't take the cap off and put brake fluid in it because you'll find that the brake pads are wearing. And when you go to replace your brake pads, you've got to try to take some out. Good. Got them nipped up pretty firm. Now, move the camera and hopefully you'll be able to see it. The calipers aren't quite sitting in the right place. All the brake, brake pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you in, and then what I'll do is I'll pull on the brake lever and you should see them seat. So just move you in now.
Alrighty, here we go. Um, try to get a pointer in here. That there, that brass looking colour there, and over there, that and that are the brake shoes, and that right there, in the middle there is the disc. So you can see the air gap between them. I haven't got a much of a better pointer. Um, so there's an air gap between them. I'll squeeze my brake lever and you'll see that close up. You always want to do this before you take a bike for a ride. Here we go. Put the brake lever on. That's gone tight. I'm not sure if you had seen the move, but that air gap is not between the disc. That air gap that I was showing you there, between the brake shoe there and the disc there and the brake shoe there, is actually um, the meat of the shoe is actually hot, hidden, hidden behind this. Anyway. As soon as you replace them, you want to pull the brake on and keep pulling the brake on and off, just slowly and gently, um, on off, on off, on off till it gets tight. But yeah, that's how we do brake shoes, brake pads.